So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 3 Reimagined. Can you tell any difference between these two? Because from afar, they look pretty good. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you between two pairs of the Nike Air Jordan 3 Reimagined. This pair is lovely. The fake pair is on my left, retail pair is on my right, and I'll just be showing you the differences on what to look for if you're trying to purchase a retail pair. So hopefully this video helps you. So we'll get straight into the comparison. So here we have the two boxes, and if you take a look from the close up, you can see that they're slightly different sizes. These are both a UK9 US10 size, However, the fake box is relatively larger than the retail box. Also, if you look at the Jordan logo on top, I would say the Jordan logo gives off a more pink vibe on the fake box compared to the retail one, where it's obviously that red in color. In terms of the worn out markings around the box edges, I'd say they're more visible on the retail box compared to the fake one, and you can see the pattern varies between the two. Spinning the boxes around to the side and taking a closer look at the label, we see differences here once again. So you can see the US size is a 10, and here you can see the spacing between the two numbers is different. On the retail one, you can see there's a larger gap between the one and the zero, whereas on the fake one, you can see that these two numbers are placed closer together. Also, if you look at the color text where it says summer white, fire red, black, you can see that this text and font size is different from retail to fake, with it being slightly bolder and thicker on the fake box compared to the retail one. But nobody really wants me to talk about the boxes for the entire video, so we'll open them up and take a closer look at the shoes. Let's open up the fake one first. Take off the lid, and you can see the shoes come completely exposed straight away. And it's a telltale sign because fakes just seem to be lazy and don't seem to wrap the paper around them. But we'll take a closer look at the retail one now. So open up the retail one. As you can see, paper is covering the shoes, and it's got that kind of like cement elephant print on top. So we'll take out the shoes and take a closer look now. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 3 Reimagined. Can you tell any difference between these two? Because from afar, they look pretty good. So let's take a closer look. If I give you a close up of the toe box lever used on both pairs, you can see differences between the two. So if we take a closer look at the toe box, we can see differences straight away. The toe box lever is completely tumbled on the fake pair compared to the retail one. You can see a clear difference between the two. However, the QC on this retail pair has been pretty bad, so there have been variants that have got out with tumbled leather, mixed pattern on the toe box. So just take a closer look at your pair if you do have one, because they can have QC errors. I'm just trying to point out some of the differences between this retail pair and this fake pair. So take that into consideration. Another difference between the two is that print-like pattern around the toe box area. As you can see, retail to fake, the print pattern on the fake one is incredibly thick compared to the retail one, which is much thinner. And this occurs at the heel part of the shoe as well. You can see it's much thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. However, once again, variations have come out on the retail pair where these lines are incredibly thick on the retail one as well. However, it's a little less common, so just look out for that. Spinning the shoe around to the back, and taking a look at that Nike Air logo on the back heel tab, you can see differences in placement here. So if you look closely, you can see that on the retail one, the air is placed slightly lower than the fake one. The fake one, the air text is placed slightly higher, so there's a larger gap between that and the pattern below. Spinning the shoes around to the front and taking a look at the Jordan logo on the tongue, we can see it's embroidered into the tongue. Here we can see slight differences between the two Jordan logos. Here we can see that on the fake one, I would say Jordan logo looks a little bit obese. He looks a little bit fatter than he does on the retail pair, and that's quite clear to see from the side by side. Spinning the shoe around to the back once again, looking at that heel tab, you can see at the top of the heel tab, it does have these ridges here. It might be quite hard to see, but there is a larger gap between these ridges on the fake pair compared to the retail one. This is incredibly minor, but these are the details you're gonna to have to look for if you are trying to authenticate this pair, because it is pretty close. Looking at the back heel part of the tread, you can see it has this print pattern on the bottom part. You can see that this print pattern is different from retail to fake. However, after a few wears, this will be pretty hard to see because when I wear my shoes, I wear down the heel quite a lot. So it's only really noticeable on a dead stock pair. So just take a close look at this if you have a dead stock pair in hand. Taking a look underneath the tongue of both of these shoes, you can see it has the size label on the inside. If I show you these side by side, you can see the spacing and sizing of certain parts of this text is different from retail to fake. I would say it's slightly bolder and thicker on the retail one compared to the fake one. And where it says at the bottom, made in Vietnam, you can see this is different from retail to fake, with it being a slightly larger text on the retail one compared to the fake one. So another difference to note, on this padded panel at the front part of the toe box, there is stitching going across the top. If you take a closer look at the stitching of both of these pairs, you can see the difference is clear to see. 
so the stitching is very even and tightly packed on the retail one. Compared to the fake one, we can see it's slightly looser stitched compared to the retail one, and I would say it's a slightly different color when showing them side by side. I've obviously got to point out the fact that this one here, the fake one, stinks of glue, and the retail one doesn't, but obviously you can't see that through the camera or smell it through the camera, but I'm telling you, the fake one absolutely reeks, so always do the sniff test because it's quite a telltale sign. So now we'll take a look inside the shoes. So on the retail one, comes with brown shoe paper on the inside. The fake one comes with a plain like cardboard shoe paper. So there is a difference in color between the two papers on the inside. The retail one feels a little bit more flimsy and the fake one feels a lot stiffer and harder and obviously different papers were used. Now we'll take out the insole of both pairs. Retail one here and the fake one here. I would say the fake one is a slightly lighter red on the top part and also the material on top is slightly longer. Whereas the retail one is a darker, richer red on top. And looking at the Nike Air symbol at the back, you can see differences in the text here. It looks almost like there's an outline on the retail one compared to the fake one where you can see it's just not got that. Also, it's a slightly darker color on the fake one and the air text looks a little bit weird spacing wise. Spinning these insoles upside down, taking a look at the text, you can clearly see a difference in the text. we were being slightly more bold on the fake one compared to the retail one. And I would say the fake one is a more white in color compared to that slight hint of blue on the retail one. Now, if we take a look at the left shoe, you can see it comes with this Nike Air hang tag on both of these. What I would say, which is quite clear to see, the fake one, this Air tag is much slimmer than it is on the retail one. So if you bend it, I'm telling you, the fake one is much easier to bend. It's really, really thin. Whereas the retail one has slight weight to it and slightly thicker. I'd also say that the inside part of the Nike Air tag on the retail one is very shiny and very laminated. Whereas the fake one has that kind of matte finish on both sides. Whereas the retail one, it doesn't. It's shiny on one side and matte on the other. The only other difference I'll point out on the left shoe that occurs on the right shoe as well is at this pattern panel here, the stitching going along it is more evenly stitched on the retail one compared to the fake one. If I show you from the close up, you can see the fake one just looks a little bit messy in terms of stitching, whereas the retail one is incredibly consistent with all the stitches going pretty much evenly all the way around this paneled part. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to purchase this pair, because this is an absolutely stunning pair. I really do like it and I like what it represents and I'm really glad they brought it back. So let me know down below in the comments if this video has helped you and if you're picking up a pair of Nike Air Jordan 3 Reimagined, because I think they're great and the price isn't too high at the moment. But thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.